Lilo doesn't show much respect for people's personal space. And something else I noticed that she likes to do is stick, I'm, I'm trying to facilitate it and see if she'll do it now, and, and because I correct her a couple times, she's not doing it. Well, a lot of times what she does is she comes and sticks her nose underneath our arm and, and nudges us, and she's telling us what to do. So I'll sit down so you can get both of us in the shot. So if she nudges me and tells me what to do and I do it, then I'm validating, yes, you're the boss of me, and when you tell me what to do, I follow your orders. So what I do instead is when she nudges me, instead of petting her, I give her a counter order ask her to sit or to lie down. Sitting and lying down are more subordinate positions. So simply asking your dog to achieve one of those before you pet them is kind of helps the dog achieve a little bit more respect for you. The other thing it introduces the concept of if I want something for the human, I have to ask and I have to almost barter for it. So my currency is obedience. So if I want attention, I go and sit in front of the human and that's when they pet me. If I nudge them or scratch at them anymore, that doesn't give me attention anymore. So from now on, if she nudges you or scratches at you, nobody should pet her. Matter of fact, no one should pet her at all anymore unless she does something for you first. Okay. So if she just is standing nearby and you want to pet her, just ask her to sit. As soon mm -hmm. as she sits, pet her and say the word sit. Mm -hmm. 